Okay, so in this video, I'm gonna show you how to put together our wickedly cool fireplace screen. And as you can see here, we did ours in um, some glitter for the panels, um, but you can obviously pick whatever colors and whatever papers you want to use. So what you're gonna do is begin by grabbing the two side pieces that have the actual tabs on them. Okay, and you can see them here. And what you're gonna to wanna to do is just fold at the tabs just to start getting these trained. Okay, just fold it back and forth once on both sides. And I'm using two different colors of paper here. You're probably gonna to wanna to make it out of the same color paper. Um, these are just the papers that I had available for the video. Okay, so what we're gonna do first is we're going to join the main part of this guy here. So pardon me here for having some pieces here that um, may not be completely weeded. Um, but what we're gonna do is we're going to take and simply join these sides together. Okay, so all you wanna do is just put glue on these tabs here and do your best to get these nice and aligned at the bottom. Okay, and this is actually very simple. All we're doing is, it's just two layers thick with a piece of vellum sandwiched in between. So really your machine's doing most of the work. And um, there's one tip that I'm gonna share with you that I found very helpful because of the amount of detail in this piece. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and finish gluing this tab to the back side of this is the front. This is the this is what's going to be facing you. So you just want to get that glued into place. Just make sure that you've got it nice and butted up against the score line there, and that it's nice and even at the bottom. Okay, just do your best. There we go. And then you can fold it in half to ensure that you've got a nice edge there. Okay. So just let that dry. And now what I did was I actually took this whole piece um, outside, I put down some cardboard, and I used um, this spray adhesive to put my, um, my vellum on, okay? Because the first time I did this, I used glue, and there's so many little intricate parts to this that by the time I got to where I needed to get to, things were starting to dry up and um, I just didn't have enough time uh, to, to get the vellum on as well as the second panel. So depending on your glue, if you have glue, this, this kind of uh, dries pretty quick and that's probably why I ran into the problem. Um, but it's, it still works, it's just not as clean if, um, if you do it with glue. So what I did at this point was I took this piece out and I took my spray glue my spray adhesive and sprayed it on there. And then I basically just I held it like this and kind of bent it up just to make sure that I had it lined up perfectly. And you want to get it to where this is nice and centered on your piece and within the little boundaries here, okay? So you're gonna get that glued on the moon piece is actually a separate color uh, because we wanted to highlight it and actually make it show up a lot better uh, on this piece. So you're gonna spray that down and you're gonna overlap this a little bit. There's a slight overlap, okay? So you're gonna get your moon down too, all right? And now you're gonna have two of these, one for each side. Again, you can do it with glue or you can do it with spray adhesive, it's totally up to you. Um, and you're gonna have one for this side here, okay? And give that a chance to dry. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this second piece and lay it exactly over the first piece, okay? So you can glue that down. I also sprayed that down, okay? And that's gonna sandwich the vellum. So you've got that to create the sandwich piece. And then each side has another piece that goes down. This one would have vellum, and then you would glue that right on top. And then the other side, 
Same goes with the other side. Just glue that on top to sandwich it in there. Just make sure that you have it nice and aligned. Okay, so that is really simple actually. And then all that's really left to do is flip it over and add the little decorative pieces. Okay, so in this case we have here, I've got this green piece and then this purple piece. In the uh, final one, we did it with um, purple glitter. So I would glue these together first, okay, and then position them on here. Okay, and this one does have a nice even little border that goes all the way around, including here at the top above the hat. So there's two of these, one for each side. And then there's the middle one, okay. Now the bats up here, they are flush. There's no border up here, but there is a border all the way around, going the rest of the way around. So you want to get that glued down. And then finally, we have... Let me just put this back for a second. And then finally we have these bats here. There's a, we did this one in a, here, let me show you real quick what that looks like. We cut the solid one out of a crimson color and then we cut the top one out of a silver glitter. And that, once you get that piece together, just simply goes right on top of that purple one, okay? So it's a very simple piece. I probably didn't even need to show you how this goes together. It's just very simple. Just make sure that um, if you're using the Eclipse cutting machine and you're cutting black AC cardstock, you may wanna increase your pressure a little bit. With the Cricut Explorer, I noticed that when I cut the black AC cardstock, I had to use the custom setting and it was the, um, I used the magnet paper setting to cut black card stock. And it was, it didn't have to double cut. It cut through the first time perfectly uh, with no issues. So um, that's pretty much it. And then also on our final version here, I took some liquid pearls and just added some in the little flowers here and also by the witch's hat. Um, and that's really it. Uh, and vellum, you can choose whatever color vellum you want and, and really jazz this up and make it your own. Stay on top of all things Dreaming Tree and engage with us today. Get the latest news and enter in our giveaways on Facebook. Get inspired by following us on Pinterest. Be the first to see our new product launches on Instagram. Do you prefer Twitter? Yep. We're there too. Watch our beautiful product trailers and assembly tutorials on YouTube. For more information, visit www.3dsvg.com. Live, craft, love, and dream.